Danny. Um, I want to apologize. I have not been making any videos. Um, I have been sick. I haven't been feeling too good. I've been dealing with doctors, hospitals, you know, all that good stuff. For those of you that haven't tuned into my channels or for those of you who have watched my channels, I do have a very rare illness and there's no cure for it. I have had brain surgery. I have, I have had spinal surgery. I've had, um, let me see, a shunt eval, um, basically to check, check the shunt that I have in my brain. Um, I'm still waiting for the doctors to see if they're going to do a third surgery, which most likely they will be doing a third surgery. They want to go in and check the shunt that I have in my brain now and see why it's malfunctioning and, you know, then if that one, if they can't figure that one out, they might want to drill another hole in my head um, on the left side and put in another shunt, which, you know, I'm going to start looking like Swiss cheese if they keep drilling holes in my skull. Anyways, um, I just want to get word out there that, you know, I have a rare illness. You know, there's people with physical disabilities or emotionally disabilities or just disabilities you can't see like mine. Some days I look good, some days I look bad, some days, you know, I look really sick and that just depends on what my body feels that day. Um, I'm on a lot of medication. Uh, the doctors for uh, my surgeon, well, not for my surgeon, but my surgeon, I'm still waiting to hear something on him. I still have to go get an MRI and probably some more tests done before he decides if he's going to do surgery or not. Um, to see whether or not it's draining enough. But he did say when he did my first surgery, when he got in there and saw my brain and stuff, that my ventricles are a little different. Um, I don't know how or what that means, but I'm creating way too much fluid in my body. And for those of you who don't know what um, IIH or pseudotuber cerebri is, basically I have a lot of fluid in my brain. It's hydrocephalus. I have a, fl a lot of fluid surrounding my brain, which is causing pressure. And because of the pressure, it's pushing down uh, my brain into my um, the base of your skull. Um, the opening, it's pushing my brain down in there. And as you can tell, like, I don't feel good today, but I feel better than I did yesterday. Um, so I'm making you guys a video. So there's not going to be too many videos right now because of everything that I'm dealing with. Um, and so I'm making one right now, as you guys can see, just to let you guys know I'm still here. You know, there's nothing that's going to stop me just right now at the moment. Um, I just got to figure out what's going to happen and then I will be back to make more videos. When they first did my first shunt, it was supposed to be, okay, well, here's your shunt. You should start feeling better, which I did feel better for like the first month. But when it started malfunctioning, uh, the doctor didn't do very much. He just put in another shunt in my spine and I'm still creating too much fluid and I'm still sick. Uh, this illness, it causes severe headaches, it causes pain through your body. I don't know about anybody else that has this illness, but they said I was a rare rare case anyone's dealt with uh, because they can't understand if it's just this, this illness causing all these problems. Um, but like I said, there's pain, there's headaches, I get tinnitus, which is really bad ringing in my ears. I get whooshing sounds. I get dizzy, I vomit, you know, I can't be in the, the heat or the sun too long because it makes me worse, it makes my symptoms worse. Um, I really can't like go out there and, and have fun in the summertime most likely because it's too hot for me. Um, I also have epilepsy and the heat brings on my seizures. But thankfully for me, I have not had a seizure since March. And that's a good thing. So it seems like that medication I have is doing what it's supposed to be doing. I'm on a lot of medications, actually. Um, I do see um, two different neurologists, a neurosurgeon and a specialist uh, uh, for eyes, an ophthalmologist, because they have to watch the pressure behind my eyes. My vision has gotten worse since the last time I went to the doctor. My peripheral vision is basically people can see 
you know, or people have blind spots. My blind spots have gotten worse, and my peripheral vision has gotten worse. So basically, if I'm staring at you here, I don't like people sneaking up over here because I can't see them. So, yeah, if you guys don't know what that means, then, I mean, you don't have what I have. So I'm just trying to stay strong and get word out there. People do have disabilities. You may not be able to see certain disabilities, but it doesn't mean you have to treat people with disabilities like crap. Um, let me see. Like, I don't have a physical, well, I kind of have a physical disability and an emotional disability. Um, I have depression. Um, but who doesn't have depression when they feel left out of things because they're sick or they can't do things because they're sick, you know, and can't go anywhere because they're sick. And I feel that a lot. I do have depression and I have severe anxiety levels. Um, I'm always wondering, you know, what's going to happen or if I do this, am I going to get sick even worse or, you know, just everyday stressors. But mine are like tensified, excuse me, tensified um, like times five, ten, um, and it's not fun because you never know where you're gonna, your body's gonna be at, at that moment if you have a disability. Um, you're always just trying to look forward to another day. You're always thinking, please today let, please let today be a better day for me. Um, and like I said, I was feeling like crap yesterday. I'm feeling a little bit better today, but I'm starting to get a, a headache and this bright light is not doing much but i wanted to make a video for you guys to let you know i'm still here i haven't gone anywhere i've been just dealing with this illness and it's very hard to have an illness and to rely on other people to help you out or those that have left you as friends or whatever because your disability and you can't do the things that they do um it's really nerve-wracking you know you shouldn't treat others different because of disabilities like and if you've seen my other videos I have a very good friend he's like he's like a little brother to me he has a physical disability um, and that's the thing you know people make fun of him little kids stare at him and everything like that I walk with the cane I walk with the walker and people are always looking at me like oh what's wrong with her you know she looks normal but they don't know what I'm going through on the inside so people are very quick to judge other people, which should not happen. You should not judge people for their race, you know, for, you know, what skin color they have, for their sexual orientation. Yes, I'm gay. You know, I have a girlfriend and she's at work right now. Uh, my best friend, he's gay. You know, I don't just hang around gay people. You know, I hang around with everybody who's willing to accept me. Um, and a lot of people do like me. I have a very good personality. I think I don't know everyone just tells me all the time that I have a good personality so um, there's just one more thing I want to tell you guys you know if you're gay and having a hard time or struggling you know and your family's disapproving of it and they kick you out or whatever you don't have to really get your family's acceptance if you have those that are close by you and that have been friends with you throughout your whole stages of you know coming out or whatever those can be your family. Those are the ones that you need to lean towards that have the ability to give you more guidance, you know, just because your family members don't like who you are or whatever, it doesn't mean that, you know, you have to just like, oh, well, they don't love me. I don't have anybody, you know, this and that. There's other people out there that, you know, who want to be your friends, who want to be your family members, who will accept you. Uh, for me, my family is totally acceptance of me. You know, I have a couple family members that are bisexual that, you know, like women, like men, you know, and it just, you know, don't be ashamed of who you are. Get out there, be who you are. Don't, you know, let other people get in your way and cause you to feel down or, you know, cause you to just want to do something to hurt yourself or hurt somebody else. Um, and that is the same that goes for disabilities. You know, you have a disability and your friends don't accept for who you are then they're not really friends you need to go and get yourself some actual true friends that are going to be there for you you know that aren't going to use you and feel pity for you so if you accept yourself and um that's all that matters you just need to be true to yourself um stay happy you know keep your encouragement up have people encourage you don't let yourself down have fun be safe and 
I will talk to you guys another time. I don't know when, how soon. I have some upcoming appointments coming up and some more stuff to take care of. And um, hopefully I will start feeling better than what I was feeling like. And hopefully that I can be able to do more videos for you guys. Just at the moment I'm not able to. Um, like I said, this is very hard illness to deal with and there's no cure. So. Um, unless there's a magical care that can cure me and kill, cure everybody else out there, you know, then it'd be better. You know, there, you know, I wish there was no hate in this world and I wish everybody would come together. You know, there are still good people out there and don't take them for granted. I just want to say strength to travel a journey is never too far and keep your heads up and I will, I will see you guys later. So bye.